Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about yoga and schizophrenia and how doing yoga can improve your schizophrenia symptoms. So we're going to look at two main studies here. The studies will be linked in the description below. So if you want more details on the studies uh, criteria and methodology, you can look in the description and you can find that there. We looked at uh, two studies. So uh, the first study um, I looked at uh, did 10 uh, one-hour sessions in two weeks, which is um, uh, a session every 1.4 days. One session every 1.4 days followed by uh, tw 20 sessions done for four weeks at home. So they did a, a 10 sessions with an instructor in, in two week period. Then they did 20 sessions for an additional four weeks done at home. And then they measured the effect size at week six. And uh, the effects were quite large. Um, at week six when they measured them with a 61% reduction in positive and negative symptoms of schizophrenia. 10% uh, was placebo, but that is still a 51% reduction. Uh, which is remarkable. So yoga has some great impact on both men and women in uh, benefiting your symptoms of schizophrenia. We'll look at the second study now. <laughs> the second study used uh, moderately ill to sav severely ill patients, did uh, 20 minutes of yoga, 20 minutes of deep breathing, and 20 minutes of relaxation technique for five days a week for three weeks. Um, so that's uh, 15 sessions overall. And in this study, there was a 33% reduction to positive symptoms, a 35% reduction to negative symptoms, a 50% reduction to depression symptoms, and 29% more energy and quality of life scores went up 15%. So these are two sessions with remarkable results for benefiting your symptoms of schizophrenia. I would note that um, uh, there does tend to be more women than men who do yoga. And that is partly because uh, yoga re releases oxytocin, which is the love uh, hormone, the love, the connectedness hormone, the cuddle hormone. It's sometimes called, it creates a bond between um, parent and child and between uh, wife and husband, etc. So oxytocin is released by doing yoga and women actually produce more oxytocin than men. So there are benefits to men and women in doing yoga. There are probably more benefits for women in doing yoga than for men in doing yoga. And um, that is partially because of the oxytocin release and uh, maybe one of the reasons women get more benefit from yoga is um, because they're also more flexible. But I'm not sure. But in these two studies, both of the studies included both men and women. And in both the studies, there was a remarkable benefit. So if a 51% improvement in your symptoms of schizophrenia in one study. In the other study, there was a 33% reduction in your positive symptoms of schizophrenia and a 50% reduction in your symptoms of depression, which often goes along with schizophrenia. So do uh, consider doing yoga. You can look up uh, beginner's yoga on YouTube and follow along with a yoga instructor on YouTube in your own home 
in your own bedroom, in your own living room. Uh, start up a yoga practice and start releasing some oxytocin. Uh, and hopefully you will reap the benefits that the people in these studies gained from doing yoga. I'll just flip over. This is my references here. So you can look up the reference and the references will also be in the description. All right. So, um, thank you for watching the video. Uh, just a short shout out to yoga today. And, um, uh, I wish you all the best in your recovery from schizophrenia. So thank you. Bye.